Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 78. Uh, maybe. Of course, I never know when we get this late in the series, but that sounds right. What a battle we've had so far. Not It hasn't gone particularly well. I, I mean, the airstrikes have gone okay, and I would say that that goes in both directions. We haven't been, like, so terribly uh, destroyed by their airstrikes, which is very good. We have to watch some of the damage going down on our carriers, but so far nothing critical. We also have gotten some good hits, we think, in on the enemy. So yeah, there is definitely a lot of carriers that we're up against, and <clears throat> I now am completely convinced that the right call at this point would be to send all our strikes against carriers to try to thin out the herd. Um, it's also time, I mean, thanks to everyone who's commenting. I read and finally replied to all, to all the comments. It's been a while since I, I, I'm really getting back into the swing of things as far as the channel goes, which is nice. Um, so yeah, Katori was mentioning to me it's probably time to pull north. I don't know if I already mentioned that in the last video, but yeah, we, we really want to disengage from this. We don't want to lose a ship. I am going to try to be a bit aggressive with Miyoko and her escorts. See what kind of damage we can put down on the Princeton. And the reason for this is because I think, I think, by the way, why the heck are her guns pointed that way? Oh, we are in visual range. Okay. Wow. You have eight inch guns. Yeah. It's, a, it's actually kind of painful <laughs> that those <laughs> are so short range. Um, it might be a good time for like the Yojo, Yujo here to move on in. Get a little closer to the Princeton. We do, if we can, we do want to sink the Princeton, at least get one, at least get one before we pull away. And we know we've done some damage to the Wyoming's here. This one's the heavy damage, five mana. So that's, that's a good sign. If it's possible, it's possible she may sink, which would be really nice, but Kitakazi does have some torpedoes. We'll, we already made our run, so that at this point it's like time to skedaddle. But we'll try to use our light cruisers, pick off some of the destroyers, and then um, if we weaken the escorts enough, we'll try to sneak back in. Oh, and there's that... Oh yeah, well, that, that does not look good for this one. Shenango here is... 27 knots, 10,000 tons, probably doesn't, she probably doesn't carry like any aircraft. I'm guessing like 10. So she's not really a, unfortunately, she's kind of a benefit to have in the fight because she, her like launch capacity is so, she's taking the place of, a, of, an, of another carrier, you know, at least in theory, she might be taking the place of another carrier, which is just much better. Okay, so Tokugawa has lots of damage. Lots of flotation damage. Very disappointing show. Probably the most disappointing show is the Tokugawa. I don't know, the Haruna also hasn't been terribly impressive. Our surfer fleet is gonna just take this one on the chin. We're gonna call it a lost battle, but it's not a lost war, right? It's not, we still have other chances. I mean, maybe. I'm actually gonna try to bring this to a close by episode 80, which means that probably I should be moving faster than I already am. So far, it looks like uh, the Yojo here is actually going to have an opportunity to move in. I suppose I should wait until... Oh, we can play this game. Okay, Decatur is getting hit. That's a Sapporo. That's good. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this Wyoming... I don't... I just... You know how it goes, right? They're going to limp back home, and I don't think that the Haruna is going to have the legs... Um, Katori, oh yeah, so the thing I wanted to mention about Katori, I forgot, I don't even know what I mentioned, oh yeah, pulling north. No, that wasn't the thing that was important from his message. His message was, we lost, um, fire control, but that's only one, we have multiple sites on, the Haruna should be still very decent at engaging, and I guess we can probably tell that from this. Okay, so positives, crew quality, under fire negative 10, firing ship damage. The damage is obviously true. Firing ship list and deliberate fire because we are low on ammunition. So very low rate of fire, but 
basically we don't have to worry about any of those things. Um, that's not true. What I wanted to say is we don't have to worry about the damage fire control. And obviously I just don't think it's worth it to risk the Haruna to try to sink the Princeton. Really, really hoping we can pick up a, the one of the Wyomings just to, out of luck. Might even send the Kitakazi back in, see if we can get a kill. Uh, we'll keep you guys close just to... So vision range will be enough. Yeah, so we, we want to get close and have some fun there. All the ships that have been told not to launch torpedoes are now going to be... Okay, so now's the perfect opportunity to deploy smoke. Okay. And probably the perfect opportunity is now to launch those torpedoes. <clears throat> okay. She might go down for her bravery here. But... She's done it, so we can pull off. That last one looks really good, actually. Oh, yeah. And although we're getting this... There it is. Got two hits. That's gonna be enough. That's really gonna be enough. So if the Yujo can get away, then she has done... Oh, yeah, she's in great shape. Not really in great shape, <laughs> but, you know, she's in good enough shape that she can... Damn it, you lost torpedoes? No, don't do that. She's in good enough shape that she can get away. And I assume the Princeton's going to be limping at this point. Um, it has two rear guns still available. Do we want to close in against those 16 inchers? We do have a full, very capable destroyer group, and I think that that would be better used against the other ships to the south. Do we expect... How many torpedo hits has this Princeton taken? That I don't know. And you got actually we can come in back we can come back in with these battleships. They've taken a little bit of damage. Okay, you've taken a little bit of damage, but the Daigoji has taken oh, only a bomb hit that is not penetrating. Is that what happened? Yeah. Okay, so this this group is uh is okay. So we won't completely abandon the surface fight, just the the initial ones are going to. Let's expand this a little bit more, see what we got going on. Okay, we are bombing an enemy carrier. That's awesome. That's fantastic news. That was, those are not, it's not bombing. We're torpedo bombing. We're torpedoing. And we got a hit. Also on the Decatur. With the Sapporo. That's very good. <laughs> I don't know what those torpedoes are doing, but. Okay. So is she limping yet? Oh, good. Another hit. And more, more are coming in. And it's before night. It's like the perfect... I mean, okay, I, I feel really bad for them going back. I don't know how they will be able to actually... Um, I don't know how they're going to be able to land at night. It's going to be a problem. But at least we're getting this night fight. Uh, we're getting the torpedo mission in before night. Oh, good. That's good. That's very good. So, Miyoko, I'm actually going to have her pull back entirely here. Um, with the other battleships coming in, and with the Yujo already having done, you know, just the perfect, the perfect thing, which is getting that, getting those torpedoes, landing them. So, I don't think that it matters anymore. Oh, wow, we're still getting hits. That's fantastic. Kitakazi is getting hit. I think we're going to have her dump ordnance and then about face as well. There's the wounded Wyoming. Not so wounded, huh? Oh, four inch guns are going to start hitting the Princeton. That's fine. But you'll be... Your fate is further south, Miyoko. <clears throat> okay, so basically get the Haruna to head here. We would like the carriers, when they're not doing anything else, to just go beach themselves over there. Let's get them up to 20 knots, I guess. I, I probably want them actually to just completely go back home. Okay, Omei herself, no, no, she's fine. One of them has a wounded party here. Satori has flooding up too. Okay, yeah, so Satori needs to just break off, unfortunately. I don't 
like to do this, but yeah, you gotta break off. And there you are. You need to just make max speed for port. Yome can continue to dilly dally about. How's the Shinano doing? She's also perfectly okay. So yeah, we'll send those back up to the north, but okay. Yokozuna is launching torpedoes. Can't can't do anything in this. <laughs> okay. Um how we doing here? That Wyoming is She's pulling away. I think that's the other battleship as well. I really, okay, so why why don't I have control of you guys? It's very strange. Oh my god, what a, what a terrible torpedo volley. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. We'll take care of the Princeton soon enough, as we can see. Yeah, that's all a little worried about. Decatur still taking hits, that's good. Decatur, I don't know why I call it the Decatur. It's so weird. Yeah, she's, she's done. Takazi did not, or did take a hit. What's your status as far as flooding goes? Hmm. I think we can come back in with smoke because it, yeah, I was, I was about to say it, it's about to be dusk, or, you know, not just dusk, not twilight, it's night, it's nighttime. <clears throat> so, that's good. Could probably move in with our destroyers to do a little bit more damage to the Princeton. Oh man, she's a goner. She only has one turret firing at this point, it's only a double turret. I think we're in pretty good shape. I think. I, Getting hit at all, the Miyoko must have been extremely unlucky. Doesn't look like the damage is, is like too bad. I'm actually gonna have her stop firing for a little bit. Just not to waste ammo, okay. Yeah, that's that. Okay, fair enough. Now what's what's left of this of this fleet? You guys are fully capable. We'll have you not launch torpedoes. Actually, it's nighttime. We will launch torpedoes at whatever we find at this point. Um, you have two torpedoes. That's not enough that we are going to try to squeeze that out, so. And you only have a speed of 11, I guess. We'll get you into port. You're probably someone I broke off. Yeah. And you have all your torpedoes, too, so you just have some flotation damage. We'll, we'll bring you back into the fight. Oh, look at that, a radar. Oh, I forgot about radar. That's going to be so helpful. Oh, this is really nice, actually. Yeah, that thing was moving way too fast. Uh-oh. Okay, th that is a destroyer. That is not a destroyer? It's not the target we want, anyways. Our target is this one. I'm pretty sure. Very cool stuff, though. Have these guys go back to AI control? Have you start inching in like that? You guys can come in at like 20 knots. So I believe that this is my target. Sure think it is. We're basically hoping that we can get close enough not to die. <laughs> okay. Is this close enough that we can launch torpedoes? It is. We'll give it a the old double. And off we go. Okay, that's, I'm assuming, a dead ship. Do we want to try to engage the other? I think so. I mean, what are our destroyers for? But that, like, this is like the perfect situation for them. And you know, at night, it makes this whole thing so different, doesn't it? Um, yeah, because we can actually we can find them. It's it's actually I think much better for us. Not only can we find them, but we aren't like we aren't a target until you know we get very close. We can kind of dodge radar signatures. 
Um, yeah, let's get you guys really up to speed. Kitakazi, your goal is just to evade everything. Actually, I'll just, since I'm probably going to forget about you, make your way back to port. Jiri sights an unknown ship. Now, it must have been one of the radar contacts. So this is either the destroyer or it's the bell cruiser. And I think it is the destroyer. Which means we actually do need to put an end to it. Okay. Do not launch torpedoes. That is a dead destroyer. But the other one ahead of you is not. Well, we don't know what it is exactly. Okay, Kitakazi, whenever you're done with your misunderstood orders, again, make your way back to port. Just turn away here. I'm not really interested in this fight. <laughs> we want to get to that. And really, we don't even need to get to that. I'm pretty sure she's sunk anyway. Nonetheless. Okay, what do we have here? Squat max. Yeah, those are heavy guns. <clears throat> okay, so we have a, a funny game now where we have to play radar tag with this one. And you are capable well as well. Okay, so good. And you are also capable. So we're going to try to triangulate on the other Wyoming. And we'll do what we do best, which is use our destroyers. <clears throat> well, I wonder why they're lagging behind. Miyoko. I think they're catching back up. Anywho. You guys, I don't know what you're doing. Can I take you back off? I don't remember what's the trigger for that. Some kind of bizarre event where you lose control of the ship entirely. Okay, you guys are heading back to port. You should also head back to port. So please do so. Okay, how are we doing on time? I don't want to try to speed up this series a little bit, but I'm, I'm bogging down in the... Well, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> to have an opportunity to sink this battleship. There she is. Okay, so we're, we are triangulating. We have four different destroyers converging on her position. In the meantime, we'll track down the... We'll slowly track down the Princeton here. Okay, Abunai is actually... No, 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 don't. Okay, good. Do not use your torpedoes on that. Yujo. I don't know what kind of speed you have. Yuko, sorry. You have all your torpedoes, though. So you're like the ideal candidate to run this thing down. Not that you're the ideal candidate for the actual running part, because you have a max speed of 20. Kitakazi's just caught in the mess here. Does not even... I, I've said four people, but yeah, the Kitakazi's not even interested. Has no torpedoes left, can't really do anything. I just don't want this group of three to be the one to run them down from behind. This not, just won't be ideal. So I, I really need you to kind of force them away and into the group of three. That would be ideal. Okay, so we have both of these on radar now. Minute by minute, at least. We're getting something. Everyone's heading back. Okay, good. So it looks like the groups are separating now. We're kind of getting an idea of who's who. The ones all up here, they're all heading north. They're all going to port. Everyone down here, very, very active in the field. Okay, so you should be coming across her very soon. Yajiri is avoiding torpedoes. Interesting. They must have done radar launch torpedoes, which is really cool. Okay, now, we kind of need to make her, well, we kind of want to shift her east, if we can. But I will take a full broadside here. Ouch. I didn't mean it that way. I meant I will go full broadside with her. Okay, that, that's got to be that. It is. And actually, I'm not even sure I'm going to wait for the next torpedo. We only hit with one. Oh, God. It's like, that's less than ideal. Yeah, you, you, this might be a, the, the 
final hours, the final minutes of the Yuko here. So just turn and give her what you got, because I don't think you're going to make it home. We will rescue you, I promise. Okay, so what's your situation? Dire. The good news is, it won't be dire for very long. Okay, so let's shift this way. Three... Oh my gosh! See? Uh, Congo! Are you paying attention? This is how you do it. With those four torpedoes, I'm going to relieve my group of three from any entanglement here. I will let... What's your max speed? Yeah, 24. So I will let you come in and launch some more torpedoes. Kitakazi, are you done with your daydreaming? Can you please... Yeah, course is set. Good. Um, yeah, so you guys will come down with me. Unfortunate that we lost the Yuko there, but obviously I think it's a very good tr exchange. Jiri, I have not been paying attention to what's going on over here, but they should be very close by. Okay, let's slow you guys down as well. Let's get you down to 20. And back into line ahead. And she's not sunk yet, which means she could have... There we go, there's a radar. There's something. Okay, there they, they both are. Wow, this was a good turn for radar. Whew. All right, well, give me one sec. I love pausing. It's so easy that you just take a drink, kind of look at the situation. Well, I didn't actually move the map at all. I just kind of thought about what I want to do here. The one thing which is surprising to me, I don't know if this is just because radar is being like seriously misreported, is I'm going 30 knots. I'm probably not actually going 30 knots. I'm going... 21. Is there any way this Princeton is still going anything close to that? I doubt it. I like very highly doubt it. Uh, this is bizarre. We're not going to be able to get an identification in time. There we go. I just want to be extra sure, so we're going to put one. Let me actually try to get the proper so probably any of the front two are fine right three four three um okay three four three i think the first one let's just choose the first one good yeah we did it turn off torpedo firing turn on smoke just for a minute and get out you can turn off your smoke laying now. So I think you'll be out of sight next next moment. So yeah, what, what's going on? The, what's the deal with he, with this? Okay, there's three more torpedoes. We can rest very assured that seven torpedoes is more than enough to sink her. And we still have, you know, I'm really lucky for us. We still have the Umin, whatever this is, the Umi. She'll be around for the rest of the mission too. She didn't completely use up all her torpedoes, which is nice. What is the deal? This Princeton is seriously cooking. Okay, so let me do this because I know that I, I'm not blind. I think we're all aware. This must be the destroyer coming after us. So let's, uh, oh, no, 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 not like that. Let's do a little escort, escorting with our escort. Okay, there she is. This Princeton is just crazy man it just does not give up <sighs> okay cool so we've already sunk a carrier and now at this point we're just we're mostly interested in radar reports so i'm gonna slow down to the 20 and take these guys off ai control because i want them to catch up the 26 what is going on here oh lord what what is going on here How are you? I'm a. Okay, these guys are non launch. I want the Ferrero to just launch one set of torpedoes at that. And we'll pull off. I think it's a destroyer. 
Okay, and you're not launching. Okay, good. So that's that. Yeah, that is no that is no heavy cruiser. <laughs> the fact that it is okay. Let's try to fire torpedoes. I think. Do have a chance here. It's gonna make them just dis like kind of swivel essentially. And we know the Princeton just got hit by a couple of torpedoes, so that's on top of however many we already hit her with. So we should be in pretty good shape. Okay, so we we did actually manage to hit this with um, some more four inch, no, four and three inch guns. Jiri's hitting this, which is nice. That is unfortunately not gonna be very effective against the battle cruiser, but we might get lucky with one of those torpedo shots. Let's uh, Let's move in on the destroyer here. Okay. You're laying smoke. You don't actually have to lay smoke anymore. Just, you know, do whatever you want. Basically, be free at this point, since you have nothing to be free with anyway. All right, let's see. So we're now we're just going, and we're just, it's the shark hunt now. Oh, what the heck? We got her! Holy cow, nice hit, Ujiri. Very nice hit. Yeah, so we're, we're okay here. I don't even have to turn back towards, I can turn away. With that extra hit, is it like a guarantee? No, still not. It's still not. I guess I should pursue this destroyer. I guess I should also continue to pursue the, the prison. I mean, these battleships are not going to be as useful now, but... You know, part of me kind of thinks we might be able to push. Let's just take a look at the reports for fast. What's the most number of battleships we thought that we cited? Three. Three is the most that we have. Okay, no. Four. In one case, four. So let's assume that we're up against four, which I'm guessing is three battleships, maybe three capital ships, one. It could, it could, yeah, it could just be four. It might be a misreport. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, if there's one more down here, we still have two pretty much intact battleships coming at them. Okay, there, we're about to pounce on that. Have we seen any other radar contacts? I gotta be very careful here. It's like, it's slow and steady. And let's see, I launched starboard sides, and this is port side. Perfect. Yeah, all right, so that worked out well. And she's dead in the water. We'll still launch our torpedoes and then turn away because it's not worth it. We don't need these torpedoes out of arc. Strange. Okay, are we still out of arc? I think it's worth it. These light cruisers, we don't... Huh. wonder why out of arc. That is bizarre. Am I missing something? Looks like a, I mean, this is obviously not the ideal angle when they're nose on to you, but I don't know why it would tell me it's out of firing arc. It looks very much in the firing arc. In fact, it's, this is like, isn't this like the perfect angle? It's like, a, it's not quite 90 degrees, it's like 85. <laughs> oh man. That's fine, it doesn't matter. Which, you know, I think we got the kill anyway, so. Let's not, you know, don't worry about it too much, which is what I'm saying to myself, but, you know. <sighs> okay, did you get the opportunity to... Why, by the way, did you hold fire for uncertainty, uncertain identity, after you've already been firing the last few rounds? It's very bizarre. Oh, they can't fire at me with their big guns from this angle anyway, which is nice. Have you gotten the firing solution yet? I just want soap is... Oh, I'm a... Okay, that's a little embarrassing. This is still the starboard side. <laughs> so out of arc is because I'm 180 degrees away from the angle I need to be. <laughs> that should be a lot better. We see it is. And Yajiri, thank you. Please continue south. I guess I can pursue, nah, maybe it's not worth it. <clears throat> but that should make their day a lot worse. Oh, wait, was that a radar contact? But I didn't get a message, right? It's just my crazy brain. 
<clears throat> are you guys like, yeah, speed limited. Okay, I was like, why are we going so slow compared to the cruiser? It's because speed is limited. So if that's the case, let's get everyone down here to do like 24. <clears throat> and then you guys will do just 18 as we link back up. Yeah, and you guys can head south and you can also head south. Okay, good. So we got a whole team of people ready to sweep south. We don't actually know which way they, they went. So this is just a, a guess here. We're gonna wait for radar reports. I really hope that they, okay, Kitakazi, you are also given full freedom just so I don't get any messages. Still a little weird, I don't know how to deal with that, but whatever. I think that they'll become independent as soon as the Haruna makes it to dock, which is a long time away, I think. But still. By the way, how long is Nightfall going to be? Yeah, significant. It looks like it's uh, like what? Yeah, exactly. It looks like just about just about even. Oh, look at that. I found us. Okay, so we'll keep going. Because there were basically one big search pattern. And radar should should be helpful here. I wonder if I can pause on radar contact. Um, radar, radar, radar. Float plane, air combat, air, okay. I don't know if it pauses on radar contact. I think it does. I think it does. I'm, I think it does. So let's just do this. Pretty cool to see everyone going on in though. <clears throat> We're looking for them. Because at some point I'm gonna need to turn back. <laughs> you know what's interesting? What if I don't turn back? What if I just have this fleet move to the southern port? And then when they launch their scout planes, they won't launch them. I, I presume I'll be further south than them. I'm gonna guess that they went off east though, so let's just start making our, let's meander our way over east. Who knows what's left of them? Look, these guys are really blazing in there. I guess the weather might have cleared up a little bit. Well, doesn't look like we're going to be successful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. I'm going to give everyone the order to return to port. I can finesse things afterwards once they all get the order, but... Basically, it was a nice, it was a good try. I'm a little disappointed that we didn't find the carriers, but I'm also not too surprised. I'm sure that they didn't want to be found, so. All right, here we go. Oh God, what, what, oh. well, this is, oh my God. <laughs> oh Lord, oh Lord, help me. Okay, you, this is, that's not what I had in mind. 
We could leave them out. Okay. Oh my gosh. What a victory. Holy cow. What? Okay. Oh, wow. I thought for a second that this was sunk, but I misread the line. For a sp split second there, I got very, very worried. So we lost one destroyer for two battleships, one battle cruiser. One of them did get away with light damage. Oh, that's the other Wyoming. Does that mean that we sank? Okay, we sank the Princeton. We sank one Wyoming. We sank the other Wyoming. What is this other one? Did that one get torpedoed or something? So there were truly four capital ships. We did sink... Okay, very surprising to me. We did not sink one of the light cruisers or light carriers when it was hit with torpedoes. That's surprising to me. Let's look at the ship details. But uh, hopefully I remember before all is said and done here to look at. Um, look on the map and see where they went. Okay, so we have a Wyoming. Rest in peace, California. Another Wyoming, the Colorado. Um, 55 aircraft, we did, by the way, we did perfectly. Sinking the two carriers and leaving the light carriers, it's kind of, it's kind of perfect. <laughs> um, we got rid of the Princeton, and this is probably another Enterprise 54. Okay, then we took some damage, and then the Pennsylvania is a Minnesota 36. Okay, again, the perfect situation. Actually, this is a really good looking ship, but it's lighter than the Wyoming's, isn't it? Three, two, two, three. Now it looks the same. Two, 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 two. Yeah, this is 13, four, 13 and a half versus four, 13, four, 13 and a half. So it actually, I like the Pennsylvania, the Minnesota class a lot better. Quality one, 16 inch guns. We are dealing with, we're using quality one. We're using quality one, 17 inch guns. That's yeah, we, I mean, I really think we should have won the surface engagement. I'm not sure what happened there. But in the end, it didn't matter, right? We got to focus on what happened. What happened was a very big victory. Now, let's see. Where did they... They were right there. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. They were right there. They were very close by. Oh no, I, I kind of had the right idea. Some of them, some of the stragglers did shuffle off south. Destroyer, destroyer. These just destroyers. Okay, oh, one. Actually, this was the damaged. This was the damaged uh, ship. Okay, well, I mean, we kind of had the right idea, but was, I mean, this is bizarre. Can you imagine if it hadn't stopped? Our light cruisers almost ran into them. <laughs> Okay, good. Anyways, it's a good good fight. Good battle. I'm very, 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 very happy. I mean, the, <clears throat> the victory points are really piling up. Ten torpedo hits. Twelve bomb hits. Eleven torpedo hits. Quality one, a negative one, 20 inch guns. We will not be using those. Sunk by aircraft. Huh. Okay. Corvette. Huh. Interesting. The, the thing, I, I mean, we're in fleet support, so that's not too surprising. I was going to say, they have nine submarines that have done six merchants worth of damage. And we have 26 submarines that did zero, but, you know, fleet support being what it is. Not too surprising in the end. Okay, uh, how much longer do we continue this one? Probably not too much longer. Let me expand out. Okay. Whew, I have to like take stock of the situation. It's like so many episodes go between the strategic, just, uh, the strategic map mode that I, I, I can't even remember what I was doing. Radar, I do wanna give them fire control. We have none. Okay, well, I'd like to get it to the Daigoji's. Those should be like first priority. What do we have as far as ships under construction? So we're trying to invade the Philippines again after losing the invasion attempt last time. Okay, um, we don't have that much money, but <clears throat> I feel like we could really use some new ships. So let's start getting some of these guys. 
all these destroyers are so cheap. Let's make sure we unhalt those. I don't know if the, okay, let's unhalt some of those. I don't know if the war will go on another year, but if it does, it would be nice to have a few more ships out. And that's a nice looking like cruiser. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the the thing which we have, which is the biggest toll, that takes the biggest toll is my destroyers, no doubt. Kind of take stock of that. How are we doing? 38? Well, I mean, the, uh, the disparity is coming down a little bit. And at least we're at parity for carriers right now. At least if you don't count the light carriers, they have eight light carriers. Well, at least they have less light carriers at least two less main carriers, I should say, in Southeast Asia. That leaves them with zero, supposedly. And our ally is here, Italy, huh, with a carrier. That's really good to know. I mean, I don't know if it'll actually help. They have a huge force in Central Pacific. Okay, well, let's win one thing at a time here, and then maybe we can push over. But I think I'm going to call this video to a close here. So maybe one more battle, and then hopefully we'll seek peace call the series to a close. It's been fun, but I've, I feel like everybody at this point is ready for this one to, to come to a close. Um, it's, yeah, one of these days I'll have to like speed run to try to get to missile technology, but it's one of those things where I haven't, I haven't played that part of the game myself. I don't know if it's as interesting to me. I, I'm pretty sure it's not. To me, the most interesting part of this game is the rule the one, rule the waves one portion. Carriers are interesting and it's like fun to like be moving with technology, have like hindsight. But in my opinion, this game, I mean, well, it's just, it's a very simple statement. The game was built around tactical surface combat. Carriers were added in after, but you know, there was difficulties with the system and I think it was done very well, but it's just, it's not quite the same. It's not, you know, it's just not the same. It's not as interesting as, like it's too slow for carrier combat it's the right speed for shell shelling minute by minute. Yeah. Anyway, so I'll catch you back for the next episode. Until then, stay safe and take care.